clean and polish, neat and tidy. Pillow, 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 pillow. Ah, sofa, 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 sofa. Oh, table, table, oh, table, table, table. Shelves, 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 shelves. Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Hey, it's the new girl. Hello, I'm Elena. Come in, come in. So good to see you, Elena. I'm Agatha, Agatha Johnson. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Johnson. Welcome to the Johnson family. Um, I come from Madrid. Oh, uh, no, no. Welcome to the Johnson family. M my family is in Spain. Yes, <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> you must be tired after your long journey. Sorry, I don't understand. My English is not very good. <gasps> you must be ooh, tired after your oh. journey. Yes, very tired. <laughs> very long journey. <laughs> yes. Well, now, let's sit down together. Oh, thank you. <laughs> is everything all right? Everything is all right, Mrs. Johnson. No, you call me Agatha. Ah, oh, all right. Thank you, Agatha. You're part of the family now. Uh, part of the family? Yes. My family. My brother, oh. me. Oh, um, I have four brothers. Four brothers? Well, uh, well, that's nice. They're big boys. Really? What about sisters? I also have uh, three sisters. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's too many. <laughs> <laughs> My family is uh, very big. Many people. <laughs> yes, Elena. That's nice. You have a big family. I have a small family. Uh, uh, now an extra person, me. Yes. <gasps> Elena, you're one of the family now. Thank you, Agatha. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's tea time. Oh, good. Uh, one cup of tea, two cups of tea. Yes! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll take your bags to your room, then go All into right. the kitchen. Mm -hmm. oh, what, what heavy bags? Uh, yes, many bags. No, no, I said heavy, heavy bags. Oh, yes, he heavy, very heavy bags. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to your first English lesson. My name is Gabrielle and I'm here with you to teach you some English. Did you see the first episode of our story? In our sitcom today, Elena, the Spanish student, arrives at Agatha's house. Elena is very brave, going to England, a new country, to study the language. Don't you think? Anyway, are you ready to start the lesson? First of all, you are going to learn personal subject pronouns, like I. I I'm Gabrielle. You, you are my student. Then we are also going to study the verb to be. 
You are Pedro. He is Marcel. She is Ute. And finally, we will look at the contracted forms of the verb to be. Your, your Pedro. He's, he's Marcel. She's, she's Ute. So let's get started. Our screen is going to help you understand everything. Personal subject pronouns. We have the first person, I. I'm Gabrielle. And the second, you. You're my student. Then we have the third person singular, he, which is masculine. He is my father, my dad. She, which is feminine. She is my mum. She is Diane. And it, for things and animals. Then we have the first person plural, we. We are friends now. And the second person plural, you, which is the same as the second person singular. You're my students. This is an important point. We say you for one person and you for many people. Finally, we have the third person plural, they. They're our books. Excellent. Now it's very important to remember that with the first person singular, I, we always use a capital letter. I am your teacher, okay? In English, we don't have different pronouns for formal and informal situations. You can use you with a young boy or you with the Queen of England. If you want to make a situation less formal, you can say, call me by my first name. Like when Agatha said to Elena, call me Agatha. You're part of the family now. Do you remember? Now, are you a little tired? Maybe just a little, but we have a bit more to learn today. So let's look at the verb to be. First, we have I am. For example, I am Gabrielle. I am American. Then we have you are. You are French. Or you are tired. Then he, she, or it is. For example, he is Jack and she is Diane. It is a cup of tea. Then we are. We are Brazilian. We are Italian. We are Spanish. Remember you in the plural form is the same as in the singular form. So we can say you are funny to talk about one person or lots of people. Then finally we have they are. For example, they oof, are heavy. Okay? Great. Now, when we are speaking in English, we often use the contracted form of the verb to be. So, instead of I am Gabrielle, we say I'm Gabrielle. I am becomes I'm. Do you remember in the sitcom today, Agatha said, 
You're part of the family. Well, your is the contraction of you are. He is becomes he's. She is she's. And it is becomes it's. It's my tea. We are is we're. You are again becomes your. And they are there. Like when Elena in the sitcom describes her brothers, they're big boys. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted after all this studying. And I bet you're tired too. See you soon for our next lesson. Bye. Here oh. we are. T for two. Thank you. Milk and sugar? Yes, please. Have a biscuit. They're homemade. No, thank you. Now you must tell me about yourself. Your family. Mom, Dad. I have four brothers. And three sisters? Uh, well, I'm a student and I go to a language school. To study English? Yes, my English is not very good. No, 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 no. It's quite good. Where is the school? It's near here on Exeter Avenue. That's very close. Good. Just ten minutes. Oh, that's easy. Perhaps Victor could take you by car. Victor? Who's Victor? My brother. Your brother? That is a photo of Victor. Oh, he's a big boy. Well, he's 25. Oh. And that is my boyfriend, Harold. Your boyfriend? He works in a bank. In a bank? That's my brother, Alan. Oh, your brother? He lives in Sydney. In Australia? Yes! He loves it. Oh, I want to see Australia. Me too! <laughs> Perhaps one day. <laughs> and, and who is that photo? Oh, that's just my sister, Betty. Oh, your sister? She lives near here. I see her every day. Every day? Yes. We go <laughs> shopping together. You go shopping. Mm. <laughs> she's a very difficult person. But she's your sister. Yes. <laughs> she's a very difficult sister. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this is a photo of my mother and my father. Your mother and your father, your parents? Yes. Oh. My parents on their anniversary day. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> on the day that they got married. Oh, oh yes, their anniversary day. <laughs> yes. And here is the rest of my family. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's Victor. Oh. He is punctual like always. He arrives at home at 5 o'clock every day. Every day? He lives here? Yes, he lives with me. Oh, he lives here? Yes, with my cat, Felix. Oh, your cat, Felix. And my canary, Tweety. Your canary, Tweety. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Victor. Come in and meet Elena. Hello there, and welcome back to your English lesson. Did you enjoy the sitcom today? I like learning about people's families. Do you? Elena certainly has a big family, doesn't she? What about you? Do you have a big or a small family? I have a small family, like Agatha. Me, my husband Dylan, 
He comes from sunny California, and he's a radio DJ. And Lady Coco, my fluffy cat. But anyway, to the lesson. Today we are going to talk about the conjugation of some regular verbs in the present simple, and some city names in English. Well, before we start, let's have a look at ways of greeting people with the help of our screen. Greeting people is very important in any language. When we greet people in English, we can say hello to everyone or hi to family and friends, as hi is less formal. We can also say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the time of day. When people are leaving, we say, see you, see you soon, goodbye, bye, or good night, if it is night time. When you leave someone, you can also say, have a nice day. There are many ways of greeting people in English, aren't there? Now. Are you ready for some grammar? So, the conjugation of regular verbs in the present tense. With the verb to come, we have I come, you come, he comes, she comes, it comes, we come, you come, and they come. We always use the word come apart from the third person singular where we use comes. This is the same in all regular verbs. You just add an S to the verb with he, she, or it. Easy, right? We can say I come from London. He comes from Boston. We come from San Francisco. They come from Glasgow. Okay, let's look at another verb, to live. We can say, I live in Madrid. You live in Moscow. And he lives in Chicago. Remember what we do with the third person singular? We add an S at the end, lives. Agatha's brother lives in Sydney, remember? Finally, let's look at the verb to work. I work, you work, he works, she works, it works, we work, you work, they work. Do you remember where Agatha's boyfriend works? He works in a bank. Dylan, my husband, works in a radio station. They work in a restaurant. Now, restaurant is a French word. We often use French words in English. Mary works in a boutique. Jack works in a hotel. Okay, so now let's look at some other city names in English. Do you know any? Well, we have New York, fabulous for its shopping, Tokyo in Japan, Paris in France, oh, very romantic, St. Petersburg in Russia, Brr, it's very cold there. Florence in Italy, such a beautiful city. Barcelona in Spain and Berlin in Germany. Have you been to any of these cities? I want to visit them all. Well, 
I think that's enough work for one day. Well done for working so hard. I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to practice those regular verbs. See you soon and have a nice day. Bye! Hello, darling! Hi, Agatha. Who are you? Uh, I'm Elena. Darling, this is Elena. Uh, Elena. Hello, Elena. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> She's staying with us, sweetheart. Why don't you tell me about these things? <laughs> oh, I do. I do. I tell you everything, darling. Elena, this is my gorgeous brother, Vic. He's very handsome, very clever, and very forgetful. <laughs> I'm studying English here. I come from Madrid. Nice to meet you. Studying English? Yes, I want to speak a good English and uh, become a tourist guide. Mm. Lovely. Lovely girl. Uh, where, where are you studying? Uh, at the Queen's School on uh, Exeter Avenue. You know it? Do I know it? Um, Agatha, do I know the school? <laughs> of course, darling. Of course he does. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> Silly me. Silly you. <laughs> Silly you. <laughs> well, I think that we are going to have a wonderful time with Elena staying here. Yes, uh, a wonderful time. Thank you. <laughs> How long are you going to be in London? Um, That's right. Get to know each other and I'll go start dinner. Can I help you, Agatha? No, sweet girl. You stay right where you are. All right. Uh, when did you arrive? Uh, today. Uh, and you'll be staying with us uh, in, until you go back to Spain? Uh, when? Um, I go back to Madrid after uh, my English course. Mm -hmm. And my language course is uh, eight weeks. Mm. Love is in the air. La, 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 la. Love is in the air. I'm sorry. M my sister is a little... Uh, Eccentric. Mm, your sister is very nice. <laughs> tell me, tell me about your family, Elena. Uh, I have uh, m many uh, sisters and brothers. Are, are you the oldest? Uh, no, I have uh, two brothers and one sister mm -hmm. who are uh, older. Older, older than you. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, m m my my mother is Carmen, and my father is Fernando. Mm. And this is your first time away from Madrid? Yes. Um, I'm happy uh, to be in London, but also I'm a little sad. Uh, you, miss, uh, you miss your big family? Yes, yeah. but, but you are very kind and, and you are very nice. <laughs> Thank you. And what does your, what does your father do uh, back in Madrid? What, what's his job? Uh, he, he makes uh, uh, this... And, and this, um, um... Oh, oh he, makes, he makes furniture. Yes, ah, yes. Okay. And your mother, um, does she work? Uh, my mother works uh, very hard in the house, cooking, washing, cleaning. Ah, your mother is a housewife. A housewife. Housewife. So, how are you getting along? Uh, just fine, thanks, Agatha. Uh, very you. fine, thank you. Wonderful. Now come and help me set the table. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to your English course. I hope you are ready to study hard today. We have a lot to do. What about our sitcom? Was it difficult to understand? Don't worry, it's always difficult at the beginning. In our story today, Elena meets Agatha's brother, Victor. Victor is very surprised, isn't he? And Agatha 
is very strange in this episode. Hmm, I wonder why. Anyway, today we are going to review the personal subject pronouns, the present simple of regular verbs, and then we are going to look at a new topic, the personal object pronouns. Listen, you're good students and I like you. He's Dylan, my husband. He's very good looking and I like him. <laughs> we are also going to study how to say some countries, nationalities, and languages. Are you ready to start? So, do you remember how to use personal subject pronouns and how to conjugate regular verbs? Of course you do. Let's practice them again and look at countries, nationalities, and languages. I come from Australia, so I am Australian and I speak English. You come from France, so you are French and you speak French. He comes from Italy, so he is Italian and he speaks Italian. We come from Germany, so we are German and we speak German. They come from Japan, so they are Japanese and they speak Japanese. The nationality always stays the same, singular, plural, masculine and feminine. Do you see? So. What do you think? Is your English improving or please help me? The English language is too difficult. Well, actually, this is very helpful for our lesson today. Have a look at this sentence. Please help me. Me is a personal object pronoun, the object of the verb. So let's look at all the personal object pronouns. We have me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Here are some examples. Anna knows James well. Anna knows him well. Instead of Anna knows Nadia well, we can say Anna knows her well. Instead of saying Anna knows French well, we can say Anna knows it well. Next we have us. In the sitcom, when Victor says to Elena, what are you doing here? Agatha replies, she's staying with us. Finally we have them. Anna knows Jack and Alice well. Anna knows them well. Wow, Anna knows a lot of people. Well, that's all for today. Well done. You're great students and you're going to learn a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye.